Hello, my name is Jennifer, and welcome to part 13 of my food stand, Rakes to Riches. And if you are returning, welcome back. And we've spent more money because we had another call from Bess. So we gave her another thousand simoleons. I really hope she pays us. I have got 25,000 from it, but we'll see. And I think we took two more classes. So when I was calculating, it seemed like maybe we didn't, Maybe we got one of those ones where she didn't go to count, but I also might have missed one. So maybe, I don't know if we got any of those. You know where I paid and she didn't go? Because she has now got her diploma. So she could start the cooking career. She could start it right away for that matter. But I'm not going to do that right now. Well, it's the mixology career, which helps you get both of the other two cooking aspirations now that we have another food aspiration which she's already completed that one but it lets you get the mixologist and the chef one which gives you the fresh chef trait and she when she starts will start at level six which means she will be you know only two levels off from the level eight you need to be for getting that trait but i have had her make baked alaska so we're gonna try and do this sell one meal for 300 because it's worth a good amount and rudy um has made a bit of progress on the appliance with so he's at the experience sped up cooking he also learned transportalate and copy pasto anna has learned the um harvestio one oh looks like something here is ready and i did some grafting so he's on the final tier of the gardening aspiration also so he also only needs the, um, let's just get this sale started. So we're going to start our food sale. So he also only needs the excellent plant. It's just like she does. But I put her, put him back on here. But unfortunately he's confident. And luckily this is going to be going away because I have had him working on the food aspiration. Not that I'm planning on having him take a job or anything like that with it. It's just, you know points are points <laughs> well, it looks like she's a bit hungry so let's hopefully i thought i had her rally the troops but i guess i didn't and we have a death flower so as i thought we got a death flower and i normally would plant it right away but because we want to make sure we have the death flower tomorrow for the ambrosia um oh, we won't we won't do that we'll plant it after because we probably need two We'll have to have him sell and hopefully, well, I'll get Rudy to finish it first, like, hopefully. Like, he'll get the first dibs at doing it, and then she will get the second kind of dibs at it. If we have two ambrosias, which would require us to have two um, youth potions. And then after that, if we get that done, then I will copy the ambrosia and see if we can quickly get through. So she probably won't even get... Well, I don't know. Depends on if we're lucky or not, honestly. So... Well, that was not 300. We sold the last... So now all we have here are things that are worth 300. So someone bought the thing that wasn't worth 300. <laughs> okay, you gotta tend the table. I know you guys reset for some reason. Our, our stay over, my, I was like, okay, so the backstory is that they were, they were moving and something happened to delay them. So they decided, and they didn't have anywhere to stay. So they've come here to stay <laughs> while they're waiting to move to Sulani. <laughs> so, but it ends tomorrow. Did she reset again? Oh no, she didn't. But we got our money. Lots of money. <laughs> Must have bought a few, sold a few at once. Yeah, we need this. Oh, look, we're at 39000 We actually have enough money we can buy our house. I can place their house. <laughs> Which would be good to do after we sell all. We won't have very much money left, but that's all right. Ah, maybe I should be keeping holding, making her make some more, and we should get to 50000 Because we're not doing this right now, so let's go on to Fabulously Wealthy. And we are on that, so we need to get the 50000 she needs to make some more, is what she needs to do. We'll just let her finish selling this. The what she has here, maybe we'll make a couple. I think we don't have anything else. We're done. I think we need to end the sale. And see what we got. 
11,768. So obviously nowhere near what you get from Ambrosia, but still pretty good. So I'm going to have her cook some more um, baked Alaska. The trout miniere is pretty good too, but this is definitely the best. And it is level 10, so that makes some sense that that is the best. I'd be really curious what, um, if you max the baking skill, what the top level of that would do. I'll, uh, probably, like, get her to work on that. And, um, oh, she's hungry. You're not eating this. <laughs> you can eat some other food. So, I am just gonna get them sort of through making some food, and I'll be back. So it's later and we're going to do another yard sale, or food sale I should say, and I have had her make I think three batches, three rounds of the uh, baked Alaska, and obviously then we're going to start on the, I guess I should be having him do it because he can, oh. seems to be able to convince people to buy <laughs> more than she can, <laughs> but I am having him work on uh, this right now this particular aspiration just you know the more points because we need at least two youth potions and we'll have them prep some more ingredients so that we'll put that in the in the fridge and now we need to do the unique so we're gonna cook a gourmet meal because he has maxed his cooking skill and I'm going to start with the batter, um, if I can find something that that's at the low level. No, not really. I guess we'll make almond and macarons. And so that counted for the those two things. So we're going to put them back onto the master chef. This is the only one. I just need the gourmet meal. And then obviously we need to have a silver. We need to have another party. But that won't be tonight, because tonight we're going to be going to see if we can get a ghost at a ghost night. <laughs> That's what we're going to try and do. And, oh, we have obviously sold someone. I didn't even really pay attention or notice it. So, like, I made three batches, which one is obviously still in. I just wanted to make sure we had enough, is why I did it. So... Can we convince to buy? Nope. I don't want to actually convince her because I don't want her in our house. Because <laughs> she hates kids. <laughs> I'll try and convince to buy here and how you're still working on that. So why don't you collect that? And let's actually put you back onto the appliance, Wiz. What do you do with the food? Oh, it's here. Uh, put them in the fridge. So much of this food is going to spoil. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to um, order some groceries. And I'll get a blue egg. I'm really mainly looking to see if there is a pomegranate here. Actually, I don't know that I ever planted the coconut. I can't remember. I feel like maybe I did. And, um, yeah, I don't care about the mighty plant. Oh, we got the pomegranate. That's really what I wanted. And the pumpkin spice milk and the salmon. And I'm going to let them have up to, because I think they didn't, she didn't get credit for those classes that they charge for. So I'm going to let her, uh, I think we're at a thousand pretty much. I was going to let them have this free because I normally would charge them for half, but I'm going to just do that. And that's the half that paid for those two glasses that we never really got credit for. So we're going to prep ingredients. I thought, I, I thought I'd asked him to do that, but obviously not. We need to get this to 50,000 and there we go. So we must have sold. Did we sell like a whole thing at once? And that's why we got a big chunk all at one go. So now we have that, which is what I wanted, and I have to switch him over also, and um, I'm just going to put her back here for now. So maybe what I should have her do once she's finished the sale is start her job. 
Though part of me doesn't, I don't know, I know they don't work certain days, they work weekends a lot with this job, but I don't know if in the early levels if she would work a Wednesday and, well, I guess if she does, I would just have her take a day off. So, I uh, guess that doesn't really look like, uh, I guess it's because it's a different flavor inside. Let's see, someone eating, let's look at it. No, it's still whole. I want to see it because I saw a little glimpse of the one in the inside. Okay, should you be here? <laughs> you need to... Right, you need to uh, come here and listen to the music. And you may as well collect that. And then you need to... We need to get onto the next stage. So we're going to do another gourmet meal. And we're going to do... You're only level two, so you don't haven't leveled up very much. So we're going to do something. Is there anything with dough? I don't want batter now. I might just do prepped veggies. Yeah, we'll do this prepped veggies, Caesar salad. I'll just do that. There you go. That got that to count already. And how you doing with your sale? I think you're doing pretty well because we're at 63,000. So we're going to place our house really soon. But I'll have to get them... I'll have to get her to harvest you <laughs> everything. <laughs> so that it'll be quick, which is kind of nice. And uh, the gardener is here. Let's see. So this has got seven left. This has got four left. Seven. Do we have anything in here? No, that is everything. Okay. And he's got to level three. And he's back here again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this... Oh, this is broken. So why don't we hire a repair service? Because I don't think you're high enough to fix it. She fixed the stove. It broke. And I was like, I had my... I was like, oh, is this going to work? Because uh, her dad was fixing the mixer. It broke. And I don't know. You know, luckily, she he actually fixed it to a really long time. Let's see, look. You can see the inside of the ambrosia. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw. It's all pink. Interesting. And the sale is over, and we made 22000 from 13 Baked Alaska. Yes. <laughs> Very good, my dear. So I'm going to open this. It doesn't matter who's on it. I just want to put this in because I want to um, grab this, and we're not selling anything right now. And he's not doing anything right now, so I'm going to put him back or put him temporarily over to the fabulously wealthy so that he can get that recognition because our money's gonna, I would expect to go below, below the 50,000 once we, once I place the house. So here's how the spell is, if you're interested. So you go magic, spells, and we, since we've learned it, obviously, we go harvestio. And then it harvests, like, I think everything, because they're all close enough. Let's see if she does it. She needs to work on her magic a little bit more. But we did get the copy pasto spell from um, Rudy. So we did that. And it doesn't harvest this, which is good, because I wouldn't want it to. And let's see. It even harvested this. So it, it was pretty far, and it harvested this. And a lot of times I find when I tell them to harvest, they don't harvest everything. I am forever having to... Uh, uh, you know, work through all of this stuff. So everything is here, and we would have got one more death flower, so she should have two, because she did the harvestioing yesterday. So she has two, and we have a pomegranate. Oh, we actually got a pomegranate for once, because we didn't have that, and we needed to plant a pomegranate so that we, uh, you know, and we need an orchid, which I don't know that we ever got. I don't know that we've got the orchid yet. Not seeing that and the other place to look for that because we haven't actually got that. Whereas the pomegranate we had, so I couldn't actually look there. So you see it's not there. So we have not got the pomegranate yet at all. So yeah, well, that's all right. So I am going to, oh, there's the groceries. We're going to actually, on. we're going to open, get those and put them in the fridge. And then I will wait for the... Repair person to fix that, we, which is now done. I'm going to pick everything up, and uh, I'll be back once I've done that.
a little detour from placing the new house. I was putting stuff in and I realized that the prairie grass was all ready to harvest. So I had uh, Rudy doing that. And then I was like, oh, look at the time. We need to get here because if we're going to try and ask for the nectar ingredients, we need to, you know, get over here. And he does have, I don't, I haven't looked at what the nectar is. Uh, but we're going to also come here and friendly see about... Okay, so this is, well, that might be worth selling. That's a decent amount. So we'll do this. I don't know if it's aged or not, but you know what? I don't really care. We're going to just sell it. And we also got another call about a thousand. I don't know whether she's ever going to pay us. I, like I said, I have had luck and been paid by her, but I'm not sure. So we're going to say ask for that. And then we're gonna. I was gonna ask for ranching tips. I don't know. I mean, he is a rancher, so it does make sense that he would ask for ranching tips. Uh, he has that trait. Even though we're not doing much ranching, <laughs> all we have are chickens. Let's see. What did we get? Did we get. Well, we're getting something. Yes, we got another death flower. So we might copy pasto that one because we have two for two ambrosia. And um, have you hosted a ranch animal day? Well, we don't have any ranch animals. <laughs> so it's not really going to work very well. <laughs> All right. Well, we got a little bit of money because we sold whatever that was. I don't know. I the rest I had already put in and I, I think at one point I did buy another um nectar rack because we had collected more nectar. So there's our death flower and spinach. We must have got that with um we got a blueberry, a grape nectar, which was pretty valuable, I would say. So it seems almost like it was maybe age, but I don't know if it was spinach. And of course, I rushed and didn't take anything off <laughs> of our thing because we do have some age stuff there. So now I'm going to go back, finish, let him finish doing the prairie grass because, of course, it's going to go because I can't put that in our inventory. Um, and then, which he was almost done because he learned transport light so he can get around really quickly. Now she can't, uh, Anna can't, but he can. And uh, then I'll be back once I'm ready to place the house. So I placed everything I want to keep into our family inventory. This is unfurnished except for lights and kitchen counters. So I left our kitchen counters and just will have the ones that come with it. And it's essentially it's a three bedroom and a bigger main living open floor living plan. But it's like the same house. It just expanded and it has a basement. So we're going to place the lot so you can see that the value is twenty nine six seven one. And furnished. And we are under 50,000 and we'll be even more under 50,000 because I am going to get them a little bit more furniture, especially things for our um, younger brother so that he can, you know, work on his aspirations. So I am going to place everything and then I will get a little bit more furniture, which I'll record and show that at the end. So I have placed everything out now that they already had that I wanted to be out, including obviously their garden. And I also made some purchases, which I will show now. And I will tell you what I bought that I remember, but it won't necessarily be in the order that uh, you're seeing it, that I'm saying it. So I bought them a TV to go over the fireplace. The fireplace was actually in the house already. So I didn't buy that. That was fireplace and counters were here. And I bought a gaming console. And then the other things in the living room is I got them a rocking chair, a chess table, and a um, toy box for Brett. And that was the main thing I think from that particular area that wasn't already in their inventory. I also bought them a, a storage chest to put some extra things in that they have in their inventory. And I got a yoga mat and a kid's bookcase. And the kid's bookcase I put in the extra bedroom. So you can see that there's like a third bedroom in that's in the middle of the original two bedrooms. And then I actually added an extra bathroom. So now that's like a three bedroom 
three bathroom on like the main floor and that living area is much bigger than it was before because I just essentially spread everything out. I actually moved the house to the left and then but where it was with respect to the garden was the same and just that should be finished showing and hopefully that was everything but if there was anything new you would have seen it. There is also like a, a an unfinished basement. It's not the full length and then I always like to, I'll put the walls up here, um, have a few windows, like I have a little wells, window wells, and it could actually be a bit bigger because when I originally did this the upstairs was a bit smaller but then I wanted room for that extra bathroom up there so I expanded that middle bit a little bit which also gave them more room here and, and just also more room for like the stairs going downstairs. I do plan on getting probably a table or making, having Anna craft a table to put there and some more chairs. She's got lots of chairs. She's got a craft and another um, bar stool. I'll probably actually move this over a little bit from where I have it, but you don't really need to see uh, that. And of course, all of the, uh, well, the waffle maker and the pizza oven are in her inventory because I had a fire <laughs> with her dad making a pizza. So I don't really want to put anything out until... Um, Rudy has at least maxed all of the, well, the gourmet cooking. He has already maxed the cooking. I just want him to have maxed both of them. So, and now we have to get some youth potions so that we can make the ambrosia to go to the ghost night tonight. And I will have more things I'll have to buy, but I just, I mainly didn't want to actually get, I need the thing for Brat to make the potions once he gets there but he still needs to I think do another game of chess if I remember correctly and he needs to be read too yeah I had started to get him to do it but we weren't there long enough or he didn't listen I don't know which it was doesn't really matter so we have probably more crafting to do and the, the garden itself I think the sheltered is bigger well of course it's bigger because it's it's bigger this way because this house is bigger this way too and uh, I, I mean, I changed the windows and the doors and stuff a little bit from what was originally there when I essentially placed this house in another save and then edited it to make it bigger. And then it took me so long. That's why I was like, I was just doing it just to see how long it would take. And then I was going to just edit their house. But then I decided not to bother. <laughs> and so you'll see, oh, they've changed that. It used to be when you placed a house, like way back when Eco Lifestyle first came out, when I placed the house, it would reset the stuff you got from the recycling uh, that they have found essentially dumpster diving and rummaging. But now I see they actually have that. So it didn't actually reset that. So that's actually interesting and kind of a nice thing. I was just like, okay, I'll, I guess I'll, this is how it's going to be. So I've got a, I, I noticed we're actually low on chicken food. <laughs> so I'm going to scatter that. And let's get them each to buy a youth potion so that's under potions so that we can make I kind of want to make get three two that I'm going to like make and hope that that's what we're going to sell and then the third one is the one we're going to like try and make some copies of but the problem with the danger with making the copies I don't know who has the most points so we'll get her to do that one and she has 10,000. I did get her stoves and grill master. So she may have less. She does have less points than he does. So we'll get him to get two of them. Because I can see right away that he has more. You know, even if it's because she got. So do one. And then two. So like I said. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. It might be better just to have her make the ambrosia. And then probably copy that as opposed to be copying the ingredients but uh <laughs> it, it can destroy it that's what I was trying to start to say is that it can destroy it when you do it so I'm going to give that to her and I had put some of the um angel fish angel these ones angel fish that is what they are they were in the family inventory and I stuck them out when I was placing stuff out and I've already put them in her inventory. So now you can see, oh, I wonder if, we're not going to get two, are we? No, because it doesn't use, um, yeah, because it doesn't use the prepared ingredients. So you're only going to get one of them. Whereas like with the baked Alaska, when I make it, I get two every time because it uses batter. 
So we will make one just now, and then I will have her continue. Oh, right. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have had her be the one to go do this. <laughs> uh, and you, kiddo, did you have your shower? Uh, you need someone to actually play chess with you, so why don't we invite your little friend over? And I will have uh, Anna make those ambrosia so that we're ready to try and see if we can get some ghosts to eat it in the next part. Because that's going to be it for this part. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!